we have an unboxing to announce. Hi, where are you from? In suburban Chicago. What's your name? Never impressive. But never duplicate. Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric C here. Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing great. I have been busy as hell lately. Uh, we're redoing two rooms over here. So I got one room basically torn down and uh, ready for carpet and new furniture. And then I got another room that uh, we're kind of slowly working on. The carpeting is going to be done all on the same day. So it's going to be two rooms of carpeting done. And then all the furniture is going to be delivered, uh, hopefully after the carpeting is done. But uh, yeah, so this is going to be fun. So right now I have a little bit of an unboxing. This is going to be another project guitar that I'm going to be working on. If you remember in a previous video that I did that I had a request uh, if I was going to do another one of the Eddie Van Halen Les Paul style guitars and uh, I said, oh, you know what? Why not? I like the way it looked. came out really nice. Uh, this one here is going to be another one different as far as the striping goes, but basically it's a Les Paul, so it's going to be kind of like the same thing. So let's get into this thing. Kind of an interesting box here, kind of packaged in a regular cardboard box, but it looks like it took two boxes and put them together, so what I'm going to do is just split it, split it right here at the bottom, and two boxes meet each other. And hopefully I can pull this apart with no problem. Corners, I believe. There, here we go. Pet. Must have been a box he had laying around. I guess his kids are going to be a little bit pissed off because their artwork is inside the box. Packed up pretty good, I gotta say. Enough paper in here. Now this is not an Epiphone case, is it? No, this is not an Epiphone case. It's a little bit of a heavier duty of a case, that's for sure. Alright, so let's move the camera and get a down view of this thing. So first off, I have to thank Mr. Jeff Lee for supplying the Kramer logos for the Kramer headstock. Check that out. Got a couple of pieces of dust inside there. Not much orange peel, but enough to where I'll be doing a level sanding. The back of the neck feels really, really nice. Uh, I got a little bit of dirt right here that needs to come out, but otherwise everything else came out really, really good. So it didn't change the color after sanding it down a little bit. I like how they used a piece of flame maple over here, not so much of a flame maple over here, but came out really good. I mean, can't beat that. So let me put that off to the side. I love that 2K spray, it works out really nice. All right, so let's see what's going on in a bit. Oh, he packed it up pretty good in here, man. Bunch of little airbags inside here. So this is another Les Paul Special guitar. This one has the Gibson... Uh, this one has the Gibson Truss Rod cover on it. So it's probably a little older. Showed up in one piece. A little bit scratched up, but you know what? None of this is going to show after I get done. Uh, the output jack is loose. Overall, it's pretty much in good used condition. Headstock looks okay. 
no problems with that tuners are going to be changed out hopefully I can sand off this special because I want to stripe this headstock but yeah this is all got to get wet sanded the whole body before I end up doing the uh, before I end up doing the striping on it Got a little bit of a ding right here then I'm gonna to have to fill a little bit of a ding right there I'm gonna to have to fill that before I end up doing the striping and uh, yeah so this is not a bad little not a bad little guitar frets seem to be okay it's got a little bit of relief in there all right so this is gonna be put off to the side for now color should be perfect for what I'm looking for did you leave anything inside the gig bag it's kind of a nice gig bag no it's all empty it's a nice gig bag pretty well padded I mean it's pretty good this will be also going with the guitar when I put it up on eBay I wonder if you can wash these I kind of want to wash it all right So the Kramer has basically, uh, you know, been put on hold because I ended up having to spray the headstock. Our weather here has been really, really crappy um, as far as like rain and storms, and we're supposed to be headed in for more storms today. So what I ended up doing with this is I ended up sanding it down the bare wood. And the one thing, if you're going to do any type of a restoration on a neck or a guitar if you wanted to strip it down for uh, restaining or uh, putting any type of a clear on there anytime you put a clear on bare wood and you kind of missed some of the sealer coat or some of the uh, uh, old finish that was on there regardless if it was paint or clear uh, it's going to show when you clear put your next clear on there you'll have dark spots and stuff on there and on this thing here I ended up stripping it down the bare wood is that I wanted it to be kind of like brand new I wanted this thing to look like it was uh, this whole guitar I'm trying to do a whole different thing with it where instead of customizing it I want to put it back to stock or as close as possible as I can get it so far between the neck plate um, some of the other parts I picked up for this thing, it, it's working out pretty good. Uh, I got my fingerprints on the headstock. Uh, right now, as far as the headstock goes, I have to wait probably 24 hours. Like right now, I could touch this thing and handle it, and it's not that big of a deal. I sprayed it this morning, and uh, but I'm going to have to wait 24 hours for it to really cure before I can start sanding and level sanding all this here. Getting a little, some of the, um, what do you want to call it? Uh, orange peel off of here the Kramer logo is pretty much under the clear and it's now it's lined up where it's supposed to be before I did not have it lined up where it was supposed to be so that threw me off and had to redo it so I got a hold of my buddy Jeff and uh, you know I asked him can you give me some Kramer logos pretty quick and he ended up uh, pulling through for me again you know Jeff Levor Diamond Cut Graphics pretty good guy so other than doing stuff around the house and getting this thing sprayed, I haven't really been doing too much of anything. As far as you guys have seen, I kind of stopped at the last YouTube video that I made. Uh, just got real busy.